G'day everyone, Sonia Bernard here with Linked by Ink, Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator. And it is Tuesday, what day? The 14th of March. Oh, it's almost St. Paddy's Day. I'm actually one-seventh Irish. <laughs> um, my cup here today, spread love everywhere you go. This is a friend of mine, Shelley, gave this to me for my birthday this year. So I am drinking my tea in that. And of course, you know, I sit down to do this and my cat's like, I'm just going to be in your face. But um, guess what I figured out? Okay, it's Technique Tuesday. And we're going to do a technique using the Friends of Light Seashells. And we're going to use um, embossing powder. This one's gold. We're going to use that today. But um, I had a comment on another video of mine. And I've got to get back to my comments and I want to say thank you to whoever did that. I, I don't remember the name. I just looked and said, um, you should film it so it's not upside down for us. And I was like, yeah, I would love to. But I like to like say hello at the beginning so you see my face and get to know me. And I, you know, I wish I could see you too. But um, so, you know, so we had that connection of that physical, hey, I'm a human being type thing. And, and um, then I thought, well, let me tr let me play with because I film on my iPad and when I turn it down, I turn down and off we go. But every time before I start, I have to flip the screen so that you can read the words. There's a little tool symbol. I know I'm over explaining this, but <laughs> so what I realized is right next to that, when I press that little symbol and it flips um, the screen so you can read. There's a one next to it and it flips the screen so it's upside down. So I pressed it and I went upside down. But then I turned and then everything is the right side up for you. So from now on, going forward, long explanation, I'm going to hit that little tool button so there'll be a little wait while we, we wait while I'm flipping it and turn it down. But everything's going to be, I don't have to stamp upside down anymore. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I didn't know you could do that like once you had gone live. I thought that you could only do it like at the beginning of the live. So thank you, thank you, thank you to that person. I will be sure to come and make comments on that video today and thank you on there. Um, okay, long explanation, but now everything should be right side up for you. So what we're going to do today, it's an oldie bit of goodie and one that I haven't actually done prior to last night. So it is the faux metal technique using embossing powder. And I actually used a copper embossing powder with this one. And this is what I came up with. And the the video obviously just doesn't do it justice, but it's there's a, so much texture here. So much texture. See if we can do it. ASMR texture. So this is all embossed, and then I've actually embossed onto the embossing, <laughs> which was something I just made up. I was like, I want it to match. I, you know, ha having like a white piece of paper here would just look like not right in my mind. So, so I'm going to show you how to do this technique today, and we are going to go through all the steps. So it's going to take a minute, and um, we've got to use the heat tool. So there'll be moments in there when it's just rrr, heat tool noise. I'm not editing. Sorry, what you get is what you see. Um, okay, now let me figure out how to turn this camera down and let's do all this stuff right here. Just give me a second. I'm going to put this here so you don't get any kind of motion sick. I don't know if that works or not. Okay, we'll go. Okay, so when I turned this down, I accidentally hit my microphone and turned my microphone off. And so right now I was just trying to get the camera the right way. And apparently when I hit the upside down, it actually flips it so you can't read it anymore. So um, I think you can only go one or the other. I'm going to play with that more and try to figure that out. So here's the card I made last night. And I did use the copper embossing powder. And I used the Friends of Light Seashell stamp set, this larger shell here, which is showing at 75% of what um, the actual size of the stamp is. So the stamp is a little bit bigger than what's showing there on the cover. And I'm just showing you the stamp set. And um, it's a great set. Friends of Light Seashells. And there's also this amazing embossing folder. Um, and I'm holding it upside down because I'm so used to it being upside down. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I don't have to be anymore. But now we can't read the right way. I just can't win. It's back to front or upside down. I don't know. But um, here we are. And I'm just going to tell you that yesterday I used a thick um, basic white paper cardstock. But today I've just used regular basic white cardstock, not the thick stuff. And I didn't really see a difference. Honestly, at the end of the day with the card, I, I did not notice too much of a difference. So you want to get your Versamark. Yeah, mine's dirty. That's my brand new one. I've already messed it up. Just ink it, really get it inky when you're putting that on there. And um, try not to get your fingers on it, even though I've got my little nail there on the edge. Trying to get as little as possible because we want we want to cover the whole project with the um, with the ink. Now I'm telling you to cut down your piece of paper before you go and cut it down to what size stamp you're using. Um, because last night I did a larger piece of paper and then I cut it afterwards with my paper trimmer and I noticed all those little white flakes. You know the the embossing powder had kind of flaked off. So. It's, it's up to you. I mean, it does give a, a different kind of look to the edge. But, um, yeah, it's it's totally up to you. But I personally, I think I preferred it cut. And um, I'm actually looking at the card I did now. And you can still kind of see the edge anyway because I did not emboss the edge. But it, I think it looks better if you cut it to the size of your stamp before you do it. So this is the first time I've ever done a um, voiceover on a on a um, a video as well. So now we're just pouring the gold embossing powder all over this, and I think it's funny because I said, "Oh, I don't have time to edit at the beginning of this video," and then I realized that there was like five minutes missing. So I was like, "Oh, I have to. <laughs> I better get in there and try to do, figure out how to do a voiceover." So I've just put a ton of um, gold embossing powder on there. I kind of, my nail got in the way there. So I'm just tapping a little bit on. And um, the sound is about to come back on on the regular one. So I'm going to stop this voice over here in a second. And just get your heat tool out. And um, I, I put my heat tool into the embossing powder and didn't wipe it off. Don't do that. It'll actually melt your heat tool a little bit. So... Oops, yeah, made a bit of a boo-boo there. So basically just grab your heat tool up and um, start turning that embossing powder into that beautiful gold. It's, it's so pretty. I love doing embossing. Here we go. I think the sound's about to come back on any second now. Okay, here we go. Oh. Microphone off. Oh my goodness, sorry. I didn't realize my microphone just went off there for a second. Let's hope that you can hear me better. So we're just going to heat emboss this. It takes a minute for it to warm up. Try not to burn your fingers. You really don't want to use the um, tweezers here just yet because you want to um, not rub anything on the surface. If you put the tweezers, you're going to rub a little bit of the embossing powder off. But what you can do is do a little bit and then move it around then hold by that end. So just keep your fingers out the way. Keep the air going away from your hand. That will save your fingers as well. I love heat embossing, but I've never done it with just no image. It's just the whole piece of paper. Okay, ow. Got my finger there a little bit. Okay, oh, I see a couple of little spots here and here that just need to touch up. Okay, like I said, it's going to be a little noisy today. I did want to take you through step by step just so you can see exactly what we're doing here. And then we're going to go over it again. Don't be afraid to, you know, get very, get a lot on there. And then what I love about this, oh, and you don't have to worry about that. Like 
it doesn't dry straight away I've left it up to 10 minutes and it was still tacky so you do not have to worry about your Versamark drying off rapidly it's not gonna happen it's not like it stays on so I like that you can just tap all that back in there whoops and get this on correctly here we go and then we're going to do it all over again. It's nothing hard to do. It's just steps. But the fun part's coming. And um, I was thinking, ooh, we're going to put that in. I wonder if my stamp's going to melt. But it doesn't. Because you're actually going to stamp into the embossing powder. And this is where your take your pick tool comes in handy just for lifting it up so you can grab a hold now it's getting nice and thick yes that's what we want to see okay here we go again with the noise sorry about that but it's so fun doing this I don't know why it's so satisfying ow a little hot there a little hot by the finger Turn that around and you don't want to touch it just yet because that's still hot from you just having the um, heat tool up against it so it does take a second of cool and that's what works with this oh love it how fun does this look I mean it looks like fake metal already got all those little bumps and grooves and stuff in it okay now this time we do not want to use the Versamark we want to put the Versamark aside and what I do want to do is here was it we're gonna get a little messy here and that's okay we're gonna get a little bit of this powder And we're literally going to pour the powder onto here. Just tap it on. Okay. So you are going to use a little bit of embossing powder when you do this. But it's so fun and embossing powder just seems to last forever so it's kind of I feel good that I'm actually using some of it up because when you just you know emboss one little thing barely use a, a, anything okay so this part you may want to use tweezers because the edge it doesn't matter about um, now you want to have it the orientation that you want to stamp it so we want it this way um, this this is like shorter edge this is longer edge and you want your stamp ready and we're gonna stamp in like this okay so we have our stamp ready and we have our we have our embossing powder and we don't want to spill it let's see how we go okay then we're gonna go up underneath here so you're gonna hold it and then we're gonna get our heat tool and we're gonna heat it up just let that heat up for a second and definitely don't blow on it because that does not have any Versamark holding it down so we're just heating up underneath and you're gonna see it's starting to melt you ready? Here it comes. Okay, it's melting. This is great. Almost looks like it's melting into it. Get that all melted. Now what we want to do is kind of go across the whole thing so it's all hot 
melted and then this is where you want to act quickly you ready down down stamp now when I did put this one in the first time you'll see there's kind of like a big um, edge here because I didn't account for how um, slippery that would be <laughs> and it kind of went woof and just slipped but I kind of like the the way it looked anyway so we want to just really press down into that and you're actually pressing into melted embossing powder right it's something I've never done and I was I was a little scared I'll be honest I was like oh this is not gonna be good so you really just want to keep pushing down as it cools and I'll tell you what if you mess this part up do not worry take your stamp off heat it back up it'll remelt and literally the lines will disappear and you can do it again but that kind of feels cool I'm really letting it cool down okay are we ready are we ready for the magic let me make sure I've got a good view there let me move over a little bit okay here we go I'm just gonna peel it oh is it coming off whoops I just slipped here we go it feels very stuck so peel slowly get the big reveal in just a second here we go slowly 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 okay now that did not turn out as good as the one I did yesterday hmm so this is real life this is we're doing this live so I'm going to show you this is great because I want you to see that it's no big deal so we've got a lot of it that turned out but it looks like we need more um, embossing powder up around this section here because it doesn't look like it was thick enough where we put that for it to melt so we're gonna put a little more embossing powder over this side over here and that's okay if we've got some trial and error it's all right this is how we learn that looks pretty good we'll just put another little thin layer all over let's see how we go okay I'm kind of I'm happy that that did not turn out because now you can see if you do it and it doesn't turn out well this is what you have to do to make it work okay here we go It's like having a Bunsen burner in science class, but with a heat tool. <laughs> Trying for that not to melt off either, like run off. Ooh, it's a little hot. Okay, here we go. It's coming, it's coming. You gotta be patient with it. This is not rush. So just be patient, keep it melting. Melt. It's gonna take a minute. We need to get that section right there. Okay, we need to go back over everything. Want it nice and hot okay we're gonna move quickly let's see ah spent myself on the tweezers <laughs> they're actually not thank god they're not metal they're um silicon oh I think we've got I think this is better let's hope let's hope I feel like we had a better um, pool right there to put that in so we're really I'm gonna stand up and 
really give it all I can. So push that in there. Okay. Because you'll see when I did this one, I had a lot of, you know, there's a big ridge up on here. Because as I pushed, it kind of pushed some of the embossing folded too. I mean the embossing, embossing powder, the embossing liquid it was at that time. Like I never realized if you got a lot of this, it just turned into a big liquid. I like it. Okay, it still feels a little warm. I want it to cool. Oh, I hope this works this time. If it doesn't, I might have to scratch this video and start again. <laughs> but we're learning together. Here we go. Here we go. Let's hope it works this time. Oh, I don't know. It looked like it was going to pull off. You know, I did the exact same thing yesterday with this and it came out fine. So who knows? Here we go. Let's try to peel it. See what happens. I think you definitely want to wait till it's cool. Oh, this is looking better. Let's see. Please work. I feel like there's a little spot that got lifted up there, but... Oh, no, we did it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. <laughs> That was a little intense, even for me. Okay. This is how the image is going to look. Now, it's not um, completely stamped all the way around here, and I'm not bothering about that because I really kind of want to, you know, look kind of like a fossil in a stone but in metal. That's that's what I'm... And I'm holding it upside down when I don't need to. That's what I'm um, going for. Oh, no, that is upside down. Go. Cool. Okay. So that is our piece of art there. Now, if you weren't happy and wanted to do that again to get even more on here, you could. Okay, I'm not going to. I'm happy with that. I like how it turned out. I don't want it perfect. So that turn, that's, that's great for me. And then, obviously, we just build this together. And look how it looks. There's a lot of black flecks through this, and I don't know where that's coming from. Whether I accidentally got some black in there, or if that's just the way it's looking right now. Um, let me get that little piece out of there. Okay. Oh! <laughs> it wasn't coming out, so I gave it a hard squirt. Whoops. Just, the, hey, we're live. This is what happens. This is what happens. Well, we're not live live. I'm actually recording this Tuesday morning. So I'll be ready by Tuesday at 2, which it's almost 2. It's 12.30. So I like to upload this to YouTube so you can see it on there. So there's no time for editing. And we got a lot of glue coming out the side there. That's okay because we will get that later. Okay. And I just got a piece of um, Enjoy the Journey DSP. So versatile, this paper. And a piece of Basic Black. And this is 8.5 by 5.5, scored at 4 and a quarter. And this is um, 5 and a quarter by 4. So now we've got a little bit of a messy glue tip. That's okay. This is much better. This, this paper is fun on this side too. Look at that. This was from Enjoy the Journey, right? It's either Enjoy the Journey or it was my, um, the other one, the, the Desert, Delicate Desert. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to go double check now. I will um, put a list of all the supplies I used in the, um, in the description there. So, now what I did do is, we're not quite done. I've got these little pieces for the um, for the sentiment, and I probably could have done this at the same time. But this one, this is going to be easier because we're not going to melt anything on this. We just want to make this gold. So you can also do this with um, die cuts. You can die cut out any die cut you have, 
and then you can emboss it up as well just to give it a different look now if you want you can use gold foil but gold foil does not have the same look and I'm going to show you that in a minute we're not finished yet I've got something else I want to show you and I want to um, discover it with you together so where's my take your pick tool there we go so again just use your take your pick tool to kind of push that up and then grab the sides now this is teeny so you know you really want to hold it as far away from the heat source as possible okay just a few more times with this heat gun we actually only have to go over this twice so again I've cut the paper to the size I want it and that's changing really quickly that's great just turn that around so we don't burn fingers so satisfying to watch okay another Versamark just over the top and if you actually just <laughs> let the Versamark go like this pick it up then you can just drop it like that and a little bit more gold okay last time for the gold really try not to get your fingers on that okay oh just got bossing powder all up under my nail okie dokie done with the gold let's just set that Look at what a difference that second coat makes there. It just really brings it to life. Visually, not physically. <laughs> Visually, you've just got, you know, a really fun um, texture on that. I don't know if you can see the texture. It's not like a regular... Um, a regular stamp um, regular paper could I'm, I'm like looking for my stamp sometimes I say what I'm thinking what I'm like looking for instead of actually what I'm thinking <laughs> okay oh just need some tea okay so at first I thought well here I could oh don't put your nail down in that I was like um I could probably just use stays on it that'll work just fine well let me tell you it does but it also didn't look as dark and then I tried to just do Versamark and use black embossing but then it started melting so I was like okay what about if I stamp with stays on quickly throw some um, black embossing powder over top of that and then heat set it and see what happens and that's what I did with this and I think that turned out the best <laughs> the best so let's let's do that and I'm telling you before I'm actually doing it because you got to move very quickly um, stays on doesn't really dry um, like it doesn't sit there it dries rather fast but we're also going on to this metally piece so we just want to move quickly so we've got our stays on and we're just going to go ahead and stays on actually helps you be able to see where you are stamping. So basically as soon as I pick this up I'm going to put the embossing powder right on top of it and we're going to go. Oh that did not work very good. Ah dang it. Well that backfired on me big time okay did not have that issue last night I'll tell you what we're gonna do <laughs> give me a second hey we're live so I'm actually gonna take the stamp pad away when I go to stamp it again next time but 
Let's just see if we can get rid of that boo-boo. Oh, yes. Here's what I'm doing. <laughs> We're just going extra. <laughs> Got the extra distance. Here we go. Because it is stays on, so there's no, there's no getting that off there. We're learning together here. Learning together. Learn as we do. I think we can get away with this. Okay. And then when I do the next, when I do stamp it again, we're just going to stamp onto the hard table. I think that was my problem there. These um, photopolymer stamps, I find they work better with a hard surface. Okay. Oh, I hope I was not out of frame. I'm standing up to try to get this done right. Just messing up everywhere. But that's okay. We're going to get an even thicker gold coating there. Okay. There we go. Let's try that again and let's hope we get it right this time. Okay. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Keeping it real. And keeping it in frame. Fingers crossed. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to press that a little harder this time. And just pray that we got it right. Like I said, I didn't have an issue yesterday, so, you know, things change. There we go. It still didn't come out the best. We're just going to throw this on top and we're going to see what happens. I don't know why I'm having issues today. Don't know. I think we can still make it work. All the, the only difference is yesterday I used the copper and today I am using the um, the gold. And that's the only difference really that I can see. So, that's okay. Let's see what happens when we do this. Okay, so you can see that almost started melting into that. I honestly, I don't like how this turning is turning out right here, or rather not turning out. Um, I don't know why yesterday's turned out wonderfully, or I don't know. Um, maybe I didn't let it cool long enough. That could be a reason. But anyway, we're going to move on, and honestly, I just say um, play with it and try different things. Um, it's not always going to be perfect, as we can see, and that is okay. That is fine. So basically, just pretend it did look good. <laughs> I would stick this on here with um, dimensionals there, and then, now I'm not going to glue this because I don't like it, and I'm going to go back later and try to fix it. And we would have you wishing you the very best there. So, hey, like I said, keeping it real. Sometimes things don't go our way, but um, that worked out a lot better. You know what I think? This actually looks a lot thinner, so maybe let's not go so heavy on the embossing powder here, and that might be the difference between those two. But this is how our card would look. Oh, we can put it this way if we like. And it just, I think it's a fun technique. I think it's its really textural, if that's a word, textural. So it's kind of fun just to like run and feel it with your fingers, you know, because that's not something you can usually do with a card is just run your fingers over it. Um, if you want to change your, your sentiments up, you know, and do something different and unique, absolutely do that. It's more about today is more about showing you the technique than um, 
yeah, than the card. And this is a hot mess. I'll probably just turn this over and try again on the other side and we'll see what happens. But I don't want to waste more of your time with that. So, you know, we were talking before that you've got foil paper that we have in the catalog. And um, we have this amazing embossing folder, right? And this is what that that foiled um, embossing folder looks like. Embossing folder looks like on gold foil. This is what I'm get usual words properly in order, Sonia. <laughs> so it's super fun. I mean, I love this. So I was wondering, well, what would it look like if we did a whole sheet, but we did it of embossing um, powder? So I embossed a whole sheet of embossing powder right here. And we see it is a little bit duller and it's got those black in it, which I think gives it that more metallic feel rather than a foil feel. So we're going to find out together. Now, when you're using embossing folders, you want the Stampin' Up! symbol facing up. That is going to be the embossed side. Then plus you can um, figure out exactly where you want to put it. So the, the side that you want it raised, that's the side that you put with the Stampin' Up! symbol. And we're going to get, I usually don't bring in my Stampin' Cut and Boss machine, but we're going to do it. And we're going to run this through real quick. And I want to just do a side-by-side -side comparison. I was just playing around, and that's what I wanted to do. So, whew, here's that pop. Oh, I think it's going to look so fun. Let's wait for it. Okay, here's our gold foil. <gasps> oh, look at that. It does look a lot more metallic. See how shiny and everything this one is? But this is just so much more metallic looking. I actually love them both. I mean, they're going to give you both completely different looks if you have them on a, on a card base. We'll just cover up that one. So you could kind of see that's going to give you a really shiny, super fun look. And then this one is going to give you a more earthy, metallic look. How fun is that? So, yeah, go ahead and try this technique. Let me know if you struggle like me with your sentiment. And <laughs> that was just, <laughs> the struggle was real there. I don't know what that was about. But um, go ahead and try and use different um, different stamps and see what you can come up with. I think it is such a fun technique to play with and to do. And it looks different in different embossing um, powders. I think it'd be fun to try it in black as well and maybe have white here just to get some contrast. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video, mistakes and all, because that's just how we roll. I'm keeping it real here that um, things is not always perfect. You can be crafting for years and it still not go right. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Just try again. It's just paper and embossing powder. Put that in the trash and try again. Okay. So I hope you love it, guys. And um, that's what I have for you today. Faux metal embossing powder technique. Yeah. Okay. Take care. I'll see you on Thursday at 3 live on my Facebook channel. Bye.